if Brittany Griner were heterosexual and just the average white or black girl over in Russia, we wouldn't be talking about giving up an arms dealer and maybe throwing in a murderer in Germany. She would be getting treated like Paul Whelan, uh, who's been sitting in a, a, a Russian prison for many years without us offering up arms dealers and murderers from around the country. It, it's the fact that she's a woman, that she's gay, and that she's black, that we're even offering up these people in this trade. And I think that bothers people because they're sitting there saying, well, hold on, I'm not black, I'm not gay, uh, I'm not a woman, so they wouldn't be making this deal for me. And, and I think that rightfully bothers a lot of people and makes them indifferent. And, and this is like the, the scourge or the unintended consequences or maybe the intended consequences of all this identity politics. Russia, in my view, knew exactly who they were targeting. They wanted the black gay woman because our culture has placed a high value. You know, this is why Stacey Abrams and any other uh, black lesbian is being uh, positioned as the greatest thing since sliced bread. And, and it puts more political pressure on the Biden administration to, to do a deal that will jeopardize the safety of Americans all over the world who are traveling perhaps in countries with adversarial relationships with, with America. Now everybody's more in jeopardy, including women. Because I'm t before 20 years ago, Russia would never do this to a woman. It was like, ah, uh, you know, we'll lock up men and, and Marines and, and people like that unfairly. But, you know, some random woman, no dice. You know, it's like the mafia. Leave women and children out of it. They're not a part of it. But the whole feminist movement has said, look, women are fear game. They're right in there with John McCain. And so Brittany Griner's paying the price for that.